Hello everyone. Um, after one year, I didn't touch any um, uh, any robot products, and because of the pandemic, and I was doing my CISSP. And I'm I'm free now, and I want to do uh, more videos. Uh, this will be my first video after one year. I was thinking to do this video because people, so many people, are having issues with the firmware update and troubleshooting software. So today, I'm going to test this uh, product, uh, dongle connection. Do the dongle. Uh, how to connect the inboard Neo with the dongle? I'm trying to see if I connect and try to update the firmware. I don't think we can do it, but I'm going to try it and see. And if does it doesn't work, I'm going to use the USB 3 cable to connect the firmware. And you uh, after that USB uh, dongle connection to uh, update, see how the code will run. Okay, let's go see a Bluetooth dongle from MakeBlocks. So if you go to MakeBlocks accessories Bluetooth dongle, you will see uh, their uh, advertisement about this dongle. So let me read out this part. So it says the MakeBlocks Bluetooth dongle is designed using Bluetooth 4 technology. So they have a different different version, right? Bluetooth 3 is all version. So every time uh, when the Bluetooth uh, build a new version, they have to go with the new version. Okay. So it's a low energy usage and transmission range up to 15 meters. Allow you to connect your computer wirelessly to any robotics that has built in MacBlock Bluetooth module. So you can use 15 meters without the cable to access your uh, device remotely and update the configuration so whether you are in the classroom or at home you don't have to tie yourself in knots you can transmit program quickly and easily without the hassle of cables okay um, so it's compatible with makeblock devices with bluetooth functionality so you can use wide range of devices okay and you can see one click smart pairing no driver drivers are required mm, i don't know about that i'm i'm going to i'm going to take a look at that okay when we connect let's see so you can see you plug in here and wireless so you can connect you can do the coding stuff okay let's do some specifications okay so the bluetooth dongle support windows mac os chrome os and linux so the distance is 15 meters support 4 plus okay so um, if your computer have three or something like that it's not going to support so you will get this uh, sensitive label and working voltage 5 volt okay and blah 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 everything do that so um i mean no, now all these computers have all these interfaces so you don't need to be worried unless you you you're using all 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 machine so working frequency 2.4 2.8 okay so let's go up here uh, software so okay let's talk about the download um so there's a two version one is web version one is pc version so let's talk about both version first okay okay so if the first one if you click this one okay it will take you to google chrome and they recommend install google chrome and run the web uh, version on the google chrome so you can download and you can install it's pretty easy so i already installed my uh, chrome this is the chrome okay I'm not going to install it again so the chrome version support windows mac linux and chromebook so there's a two version for code of with python code with blocks our um, video we only go with the code with blocks this for this is the new beginning and code with python so this is for the advanced users in the future i'm going to cover the code of with python so uh, if you click this one so it will go to uh, Chrome browser and we'll start from the Chrome browser. So this is from direct from Chrome browser. Okay So next one is uh, PC version. 
version 5.4 release on uh, 2021 November 30th uh, the today's date is 2023 January so this is uh, uh, the latest one okay and uh, there they say download for Windows and download for Mac Mac version is fine 10.12 plus but in the Windows they recommend 64 bit recommended so people having issues because sometimes they don't know which version they have sometimes they're running 32 bit okay so there's so many uh, things uh, you need to consider if you're having issues it's not only about the software or the embod or windows it's all about some other stuff because if they recommend i think we should go with the recommend stuff because then we can run smoothly uh, the firmware updates and uh, codings so how do you know how do you find out which version you're running windows version running it's pretty simple now these days all the computers coming from windows 64 bit unless you have a 32 bit operating system installed by you or someone else or the old machine so how do you know so type start menu and type um, system information if you type system you will see system information click that one okay it came to my other monitor let me drag here okay now you can see uh, the OS name Windows 11 okay and if you go system type you will see 64 base PC so this is 64 bit machine 64 bit operating system so if you see 32 bit O86 that you're not running the 64 bit version so you need to find out if your computer support install 64 bit operating system or you can install get windows version 64 bit and install here so there's a two things i'm mostly consider when uh, running a software uh, their requirements i'm lo looking at this 64 bit okay i'm good i'm pass and the other one is uh, physical memory that's this is a very huge uh, part uh, run any kind of software because now these uh, all these days uh, the softwares uh, need more RAM and you uh, using uh, different different application need more RAM so I have 64 GB that's I have enough RAM but some machines some computers come with uh, basic like 4 GB 8 GB 16 GB okay so for I am not recommend for GB because the software it's okay but you are running other than uh, other software other web browser and any any other so maybe Microsoft Office or you know those kind of stuff so you are you are going maximum your memory so 4 GB is not enough at least you need to have 8 GB of RAM so you don't have any issues so what happened if goes maximum now if you have 8 gb you can look at this from the task manager you can see how much cpu percentage i'm using my computer and the memory okay 18 percent i have uh, enough memory so 18 percent 64 gb so if you uh, machine 8 gb maybe it will go like 98 percent 100 percent so if it hit 100% or 98 some of the functions are not going to work I mean you are going to be very slow and firmware not going to update or your software giving your runtime error close you know so many issues so you want to make sure if you encounter any issues go to the task manager and see how much memory your computer is running now oh, what kind of software is run, using the most uh, memory and the CPU percentage is also a uh, very crucial okay you can see from the process you can find out which process is running like eight which uh, like my Microsoft Edge I'm using 37 tabs so uh, so not only software is using most memory and CPU even the Mac uh, web browsers if you open a lot of tabs it will suck your bandwidth everything okay so make sure that I'm not going to explain everything on uh, 
the de technical detail uh, uh, if you want you can comment and i will go through all these technical details a different video okay and also uh, in here you have a lot of things if you want to learn from the computer if you want uh, just shoot me a, a comment i will uh, i will detail video i can update okay i'm going to close this okay let's start with the web version and see how it's going to work so when i click web version yeah this loading and it's already connect the devices in the cyber pi so just let you know this is i didn't connect anything yet okay so let me uh let me move to my actual robot so i am i'm going to connect this usb dongle okay so i'm going to take this one oh. so this is my computer uh, connector and i'm going to connect okay and before that i'm going to use the uh, computer management so if it's connected so how do you uh, how do you know it's connected so you go to the computer management let me let me drag this one here okay so i'm going to device manager and i'm going to scan hardware changes i mean it should connect auto connected okay I okay this is the one port 3 com 3 okay so let me show you again so now i'm going to uh, unplug this you can see it went away now you can't see any com port here right you don't see anything so when you plug this one so before if you have any issues that uh, uh, connecting the dongle uh, so you need to do is just don't plug this yet okay if you have issues just don't plug just keep it here and go to the device manager okay go to device manager and see if you have any com ports okay now I don't have any com ports so it's easy for me but in just in your case if you see any com ports write it down write it down if you say okay one two three okay write it down okay now what you need to do is now you know how many compass in your machine now you plug this now you see com three so you now you know mega block uh, usb dongle is com three okay this is how you identify which com port is connect your dongle okay so i had an issue that with uh, i couldn't connect the embod neo with the usb c cable because i was using different cables like i had a phone cable gopro uh, cable so i was using that to connect the embod neo but embod neo didn't recognize and didn't connect i was troubleshooting like one hour and after that i was looking at this why it's not connecting and it's not even not detecting i thought okay maybe it's, it's burn or maybe it's not working so i went to the uh, box the embod neo original box i found the cable original cable and it's connected so remember that Embod Neo need the original uh, USB C cable came with the Embod Neo, otherwise it's not going to detect. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to update the firmware now because I try to use the US, uh, USB dongle. It's not updating the firmware. Uh, maybe it's too slow maybe it's updating it's too slow it's better to use the USB C cable to update the firmware for the calling that's fine you, you, you can use the dongle connection but the firmware 
uh, I, I recommend use the USB-C cable okay um, so I connected okay so this is the USB-C cable okay so you just plug in you hear the uh, sound that's connected okay now we we already select the uh, cyber pi from here now what i'm going to do here uh, i'm going to hit connect now you can see com3 connected so from the cable uh, yeah, i don't know my camera not focusing on the the inboard neo yeah hmm. okay so I'm going to hit connect so it's connected so now uh, it doesn't matter upload or live to um, install the firmware upload and live only matter for the code to upload we'll come back that later so if you click the settings use hit firmware update and hit updates it takes few few minutes so i'm not going to update uh, so you will see it's yellow color if you need updates okay so so now uh, we update the firmware right that's how we update the firmware and now if you want to uh, i'm going to disconnect this so we disconnect the USB-C cable okay it's now not connecting now so I'm going to turn this off okay the uh, input near is turn it off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, dongle connect to the PC you can hear the sound is connected uh, you can see the Bluetooth icons blinking. It's not, yeah, so you can see the Bluetooth connections blinking. Okay. Now, now I'm going to turn this on. Okay. Come on, focus on the but Neo, not me the camera okay so you can see the sound so Ember Neo already recognized the uh, the dongle okay we already installed the drivers remember that so now I'm going to hit connect it's COM4 and I'm going to connect okay it's connected so now normally if you want to run live run you need to go live mode okay upload you can see it's went gray in this one because upload only for upload the connection uh, upload the configuration so if you hit upload the upload in progress upload okay now if you want to run the code you want to make sure you go for live mode click the live now I'm going to run it live. Now this is not connected anything. I'm going to say quick run. Okay. You can see it's working uh, with the USB dongle connection. So it's good to have uh, to your computer or laptop. So you don't need to use the cable all the time. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to upload more videos in the future.